It's not clear exactly how the ridge was originally created, though the movement of glaciers, the flowing of rivers, and the pushing of earthquakes all contributed to the unique formation. Some geologists believe that the ridge was formed from two massive shifts in the channel of the Mississippi River. Crowley's Ridge is right here. It starts down here by West Helena, goes on up through the eastern part of the state into Missouri. The Mississippi River used to come on down through here. It's shifted over there, but the Crowley's Ridge then is an erosional remnant. It's left over from erosion on both sides. Another theory is that the folding of the Earth's crust created the ridge. This process seems to be ongoing today as the ridge continues to slightly rise, indicating that an uplift caused by underground forces may still be taking place. It's sort of an isolated little pile of dirt between two rivers. It's, it's what's left, but the, the mound of dirt between two river basins. And those river basins have been filled in with more recent material that has washed out and been carried there by the rivers and streams. So we get a little bit older rock on, on Crowley's Ridge. Crowley's Ridge is located along the New Madrid Fault Zone, all the way down to Mark Tree. The largest earthquakes ever to hit the North American continent were along the New Madrid Fault Zone from 1811 to 1812. No seismic readings were available in the area then, but scientists believe the magnitude of some of the quakes could have been as high as seven on the modern day Richter scale which would be considered a widespread disaster. The New Madrid Fault is still active, averaging more than 200 measured events a year, usually between one and three on the Richter scale. Should a major earthquake measuring five or higher strike along the New Madrid Fault, Jonesboro, the largest city in the Crowley's Ridge region, would be the hardest hit.